Good day, good day! How the honk are you today? Yeah, welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano. And I've got a one on Wednesday. That's right, one on Wednesday. W O O W. O O W. Ot Ot W. O O W. There we go. What are we looking at today? We have got some beauties today, don't we? Don't we? All right. Well, we're going to start out with this one uh, because this is the first one that I ever had. And uh, you can see a little play worn. And, um, well, if you don't recognize it, you probably do. You probably don't. It's uh, kind of, this is an interesting one. I got this one off eBay. And let's just get right into it, all right? Ba-bam! Oh, it is a Corgi's Junior Range Rover made in Great Britain, all right? And uh, just a beautiful little gem. And if you don't uh, quite recognize what, I'm, what we're looking at here is because normally... The Corgis have got what they call a roof box to it. And there is a series of Corgis. They made these uh, 164 scale, and then they made 143rd scale with that roof box on it. Well, these don't have roof box on it. That one back there or this one here. And, uh, wow, Really hard to find out information about these buggers. I tell you, Corgi is really, really hard to uh, figure out um, and um, find out stuff. But I do have one. I'm going to let you look at my notes. But bam! If you go to um, publicsafetydiecast.com, I didn't, I didn't come prepared. I just said, yeah, you're looking at my notes. But bam, there you go. Check those guys out. They have um, an interesting layout here. Um, any, everything Corgi, uh, not just Land Rover, and, and you can pick out uh, what uh, um, model of Corgi that you want to look at. I think it's public uh, safety vehicles, I think is the main basis of it, but otherwise, I mean, they got everything there. I, I don't know. They got everything there. Check it out. I stumbled upon them and uh, really kind of cool. All right. What we've got here is, uh, so this uh, Corgi is 164th Range Rover, and it is basically the same casting as the other ones. And uh, I'll tag that video at the end here, but without the uh, roof box, as I say. Um... So, this is a uh, police, I guess, I don't, I don't know what they call it. I don't even know what the number is. As you see in the title, number, I don't know. But it's got a white interior, it's right-hand drive, and this one has a blue-tinted window to it. There are many, many variations of this. Uh, a blue one with uh, 430, uh, 340 on the top, highway patrol uh, on the top, on the, on the hood there, uh, with some stars, uh, that's a very beautiful one. Very, 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 I, I don't know where they're at. Um, they're not here in the States, I guess, I'm not sure. Um, so this is really kind of rare. Now I bought these from a uh, US and uh, I, I, like I say, I can't, if you guys can help me, comment down below exactly what and where these are, what number they are, um, I'm not sure. Um, what I thought this was, was the Kygo Brazil, but it's not. Do you guys have any of these Kygo, Kigo Brazil, um, uh, Corgi Juniors, I I don't know a lot about those, but obviously they're made in the Brazil market. But anyway, this has got some. I'm, I'm keeping my out out on these, trying to find some more. If you got some that you want to let go of, give a hold of me uh, down in the comments. I'd really like to get more variations. This is it, the one of right here. So, um, yeah. So this is. Uh, 
I, I just don't, I just don't know what to call it. <laughs> You've got some very nice ones there. So this is the latest one that I've got. And I just got this off eBay. Just got it the other day. And uh, Mountain Rescue. Uh, this is a tampo on there. It's not a sticker. Let's, well, let's quick, quick take a look at the base. Same basic base as this bugger. Um, but a uh, lot, lot better shape. This here is mint shape. Now I almost, I almost had to pay $10 for this. I was after it because, um, I had this one and I needed something else and I wanted this one. And so I paid more for it. <laughs> I, I was sweating it, but I got it. I got it, and that's awesome. Um, now, uh, back to that public safety diecast. Publicsafetydiecast.com. Uh, they have a, a listing of a lot of these things. And uh, now, apparently, there are three versions of this one. Uh, now, I don't know if that was part of his um, uh, Dewey Decimal system. <laughs> but J59A, J59B, and J59C. Now this, to what he has listed, J59B, and I think, I think that's his Dewey Decimal system, 167, um, this is a B version, which has got the white interior, blue tint glass with these uh, wheels, uh, the later later wheels. Obvious, uh, funny enough, these match wheels. The A version is just like this, but it has the double spoke, kind of the more common, um, uh, you know, Corgi Junior's uh, wheels, and then uh, the J. 59C has a yellow interior, just like this, but with the yellow interior. But uh, like I say, I do not know. This comes in a, cu a couple of different ones, uh, liveries. Not as many as this one here. This is really um, quite the uh, casting. This one has a few, and I really just don't know what market this bugger is in. Uh, like I say, I don't think this made it to the States. I'm not really sure. But uh, just the, you know, the basic Corgi uh, casting. Uh, I, I love the way they do it. Now, if I was going to uh, uh, refurbish this, uh, those two rivets uh, bent over posts are going to be a pain to do. But it's nice and clean. You don't have a rivet um, true, I don't know if we can see that with the glare there. We don't have a rivet, a gaudy rivet, um, that you have to see in the cabin or anything like that. So that's very, very nice. The decals on this are very nice and clean. Uh, I think I really got a nice version. This, this, uh, I, is quite a gem. I'm going to put this aside and, uh, really, uh, yeah, admire it. Uh, all of the, um, uh, luggage racks on all the models that I saw were this one, uh, black. Uh, the other model that I saw was a white one, and I, I really didn't, I don't remember. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't write it down what it was. But, uh, yeah, uh, but this is really nice. They, they really got their uh, decaling uh, in a lot better uh sorted out and stuff like that but just a beautiful beautiful model i really like this one uh yeah i had to pay more for it but hey you get what you pay for huh that's right all right well uh, really folks i gotta ask you just comment down below if you know anything about these as far as you know um the number you know the corgi juniors and then they use the hashtag number sign uh, and, uh, I could not find anything. So if you know, I know some of you guys come over to Facebook, uh, tag me up there, drop a picture in the comments, like stuff like that. I awesome. It's awesome. That's a way to, to talk back to me. Uh, well not talk back, <laughs> correspond, correspond. We'll call it correspond. Uh, also Instagram at Roverland channel. You can get a hold of me over there, but 
For sure, Facebook. Uh, check me out there, Roverland Facebook page. And uh, yeah, so just um, just check this out. Tell me what you guys got, what you can uh, tell me about these, because these are beauties. I love them. I wish I had more of them. Yeah, and too, if you've got any of these that you'd like to get rid of, let me know. Yeah, I would be interested, all right? All right, that's going to be it for today. A one-up Wednesday with the Corgi Juniors. Remember, as we get out of here, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.